Okay, this is our little run we have in our chicken coop. And it's got sand, natural sand. Out there, it's just dirt and grass and some other places. And that has a net over it for safety from the hawks. They use it some. They don't peck away at the weeds much, but they eat all the grass. So it looks pretty barren out there besides weeds. Then over there, we've got grasses we let them into sometimes. But right now, they're off limits out there because they go out in free range. But this is... Oh, this right here is awesome. This is in our in our coop where we lift this up and there's a very clean egg it doesn't get pooped on or anything it just rolls out it's awesome so i love it um this that's our first egg today we also have a place they lay inside the coop but i'll show you that in a second when i go to cleaning it but this is the sand and it everybody's clean in here you just scoop up i'll show you there's a poop so I just get under it and I shuffle through it like that and the poop is pretty much the only thing in there. So this is the sand part and of course it'll get a few pieces of gravel which is fine. It just goes all back out in the dirt but there's gravel underneath this that they kind of get down to when they want to take a little dirt bath. So. But I just put this poop in a bucket and I put it over like in a compost pile that I'll use in a couple years and put it on some garden or maybe on my sweet corn. <sighs> this handle's not long enough for this scoop, so I'm thinking about getting a different, longer handled scoop, which there's a goose poop. They were out here last night, so, but... Pretty much all that's in here are chickens. And it just takes about five minutes to do, well, it hasn't even taken me two minutes to do this whole run. And we have a lot of chickens. So there's probably 30 or 40 chickens that roam around out here in the morning. There's soon to be more, but I don't think it's gonna take me much longer because there's a lot of bare spaces in here. and. It doesn't take very much time and you get pretty much a full scoop and you're done for the day and you can do it again tomorrow. It takes two minutes to keep your coop clean and I got one scoop of poop and Maple's feet are clean. So that's uh, natural sand. I put it like four inches deep under that some gravel, just regular old. I think it's limestone gravel but so they like it they're happy and we're getting ready to redo this whole thing with some harder wire because this chicken wire is kind of flimsy toward raccoons we had a break in so we're getting ready to put hard hard cloth on it so we won't have any more break-ins at all but it's all been redone this is the hard wire we are going to get so we also have this little fancy door but purpose of this video is to show you whether sand gravel wasn't great but either sand or coffee grinds are better here's my poop thing so in here I don't know why everybody's hanging out in here but this coffee grinds and it gets a little bit dustier you get a little bit more, I think you get more waste with the coffee grinds than you do with sand. It takes a little bit longer to scoop through everything. I'll show you when it gets over there to the, the main poop area. Got my dogs barking in the background. Sorry about that. Hang on. Okay, so some of the birds are just hanging out in here because they're nervous of the dog. He's, he chases them. So, here's how I clean this. It takes a little bit more time to get through the coffee grinds. But it smells better. Well, it doesn't smell better than sand, but like 
You know, it smells like coffee in here. I think it smells kind of good instead of a chicken coop. But I can't decide if I want to do just there's a little bit more waste and it takes a lot more time to do the coffee grinds As you can see it takes a lot you pretty much have to go over every inch of it to get it all instead of just finding one here or there because it gets really messy on top I think it I think the coffee grinds get the moisture out of it and it just kind of breaks apart so you waste a lot more and it takes a lot more time so that's my take on coffee grinds or sand you guys can be the judge but I'm gonna try to go two minutes on this so that's really not super dusty but It takes a lot more shaking. Like, my arm gets super tired about halfway through this. And like I just did last night. I just did this. So this is just overnight in here. With all these things. So, nope. Everyone sees Miles, so they're nervous. So... That's all my arm can take on this, but I'll come back and do this later tonight, the rest of that. And then I'll do a whole nother time in there tonight. So, coffee grinder sand. I probably, I don't know. You be the judge. Coffee grinds and sand are about the same cost. I know we got a pile of sand. The cost is expensive, but... Um... I think I spent, like, just for the coffee grinds inside of there, 115 bucks, And then out here, the sand, the pile of it was like 350 I think. But there's a lot of sand left, and there's only a few bags of coffee grinds. So, I think maybe sand might be cheaper to get a truckload of sand. But they're both expensive, but I think the sand's a little bit easier. And there's marshmallow. She's sweet. And there they are, just kind of pecking around outside. But they don't mind hanging out in here. They like their run. Oh, here's another egg in there. It hasn't rolled, rolled down. But usually, when the eggs get laid, and they pop out, they just roll to where the hen can't peck them or eat them. So I guess this one's decided not to roll under there, but oh, that's the first one I've seen that has not rolled under. So I've got two eggs in here. They've just began to hatch. This is a new, all new chickens this year. So everybody's new to our farm except one duck. All these guys are new and all those guys are new. So it's going to be fun. I've got so many little ones too that we're raising up. If you guys want to check back in you can see them all get raised I've got about every kind of chicken out here if you got any questions about a kind you like maybe I could answer it for you but we raised other kinds of chickens and this year we didn't get any of the same kind of chicken we used to raise this is our little nursery where the young ones go they're all out here they sleep in there instead of in the coop some of them go to the coop these guys are in between the coop and here. Some of them sleep in here and some of them sleep in there. But we still got a batch of them, or two batches in our, where we keep the heat lamps. So we're going to have lots of chickens and it'll be fun to see how. So I put these bags out here, like with the other stuff to compost down. And my son, he goes fishing, so... I told him under some of this stuff, once it gets wet and nasty, when you move these bags, there should be some worms. So, so I don't see any worms right now, but at three or four dollars a worm package at Walmart, usually there's a lot of worms out here. These are all our little 
little babies over there. And thanks for watching.